Tonight, it is a heart problem that affects millions, and it can cause great discomfort and pain in the chest. We're talking about atrial fibrillation. If left untreated, it could cause blood clots and stroke. However, a new technique known as HIFU, or High Frequency Ultrasound, is now being performed at Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital, and it's already yielding results. Tonight, meet a Reedley man whose heart ailment of the last 25 years is now cured, and Dr. Richard Gregory, who is proud to be the first in the valley to offer this life-changing technology. You go deadhead some pansies. Jack Hall is a retiree living with his wife in the outskirts of Reedley. Before becoming an entomologist studying insects at UC Riverside, he grew up in the valley and is proud to have served during World War II. Jack says his heart problems came as a surprise and discovered them while he was touring Europe. I didn't know I had them. <laughs> it's a funny part. We were touring Croatia and Slovenia, and I got pneumonia in Slovenia, and uh, they put me in the hospital there. And those doctors discovered it, that I had a flutter in my heart. I didn't even know I have it. I've never hurt through this whole thing. I've never been weak through this whole thing until after they did all that monkeying around. When Jack returned home, he went to Dr. Richard Gregory at the Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital for some advice. During our preoperative evaluation, we informed him that we can do this procedure, the high food technique, uh, where we can hopefully cure him of his atrial fibrillation. According to Dr. Gregory, this is the future of curing a heart defect known as atrial fibrillation. It's a problem that occurs when the two parts of the heart are not in sync. It's a disease where the upper two chambers of the heart, known as the atrium, beat irregularly. And the impulse that they send to the lower two chambers of the heart, the ventricle, are not consistent. So the upper two chambers tend to beat very fast or very slow. The lower two chambers are trying to figure that out and keep up with them. And so the heart rate is irregular uh, all the time. Dr. Gregory says the latest in treating this heart problem is HIFU. It works by attaching a ring to the heart. It then sends ultrasonic frequency waves that scars the heart muscle. The ultrasound causes uh, damage to the uh, heart muscle itself that damaged heart muscle doesn't allow the conduction system to fire inappropriately and it basically forces the conduction system to fire in a natural way. Lovely. Yeah, the box glove, yeah, they're great. Jack recently received the HIFU Looks procedure like as part on. of a triple bypass, but even after the surgery, Jack still yeah. needed his heart shock back into rhythm. About 30% of the patients will ultimately require uh, electrocardioversion so that they would have to be shocked back into a normal sinus rhythm again uh, and that's what Jack went through and currently he's back in sinus rhythm and has been for the first time in 25 years so good for him. Right now the HIFU is only performed in conjunction with an open heart surgery. Dr. Gregory says the goal is to reduce the need for further shocking of the heart and long-term medication. The next step is to make HIFU a standalone procedure. Another weed. <laughs> After a week at the Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital, Jack was back to his beautiful garden with his wife, Joanne. Well, we spend a lot of practically all our life out here in the garden. No, we don't. Uh, we both work in the garden, as you can see, and, and uh, we both love it. It's my R&R. &R. Yeah, you had a little rain the other day. It has been more than four months since Jack had his heart procedures, and he says he is feeling fine. I never had any kind of feelings. I, I've... Felt good, never hurt, even after the operation. That's great news, Jack. It's wonderful to see you enjoying the flowers and the bugs again. The symptoms of an irregular heartbeat are chest discomfort and palpitations. Atrial fibrillation can be discovered by an EKG or physical examination. And the disease is not genetic, meaning it can't be passed from parents to their children. However, it tends to affect the elderly more often. If you experience any of the problems associated with it, see your physician. To learn more on this, visit our website. It's medwatchtoday.com.